Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Owatonna Today Show. I'm Deb Gillard, your host, and isn't it lovely to see all those spring pictures on our opening and as we go out and about. Hopefully you had a wonderful Easter weekend. I'm combining the two words, Easter weekend with family and friends, and everybody's back in place as they should be today, probably at school and at work and all of those things, but it was a it was a beautiful weekend to be gathering with our family and friends as well, so hopefully yours was nice. We have great shows coming up for you this week. We're right into the season of a lot of things going on. Kind of get past that Christmas and the doldrums of winter and early spring, and then, boy, do we come out of the chute with a whole bunch of things. Of course, you can find Owatonna today on Charter Channel 181. Also, many places on the Internet, the thirdhandvideo.com. You can find us on Facebook. If you like us there, you'll get notifications of new programs as they're uploaded. We're on YouTube and Twitter, I think, Twitter at Owatonna Today. So many, many opportunities to watch or to tell someone that you know if they are not in the Charter Channel viewing area that they can catch the Owatonna Today show. We welcome your comments and ideas for show topics and guests and information that we pass along at the end of the program. Please send that to Owatonna Today at charter.net or you can get a hold of Leanne at 390-5751 and she'll be happy to help you out with that as well. As I mentioned, a great show today. We're going to be coming back from our first break and we are going to be talking about the upcoming Young Life Cake Auction a little bit later on in the program, Camp Pillsbury. So let's take this break for our supporters. We'll be right back. Stay with us. I'm Dan Branstead of Carlson Branstead & Company, Certified Public Accountants. We support the Oatana Today Show. Oatana Public Utilities, real people, real reliable, real progress. Making life a little easier day after day. Taking pride in our community, listening to what you say. A voice you can talk to. We're growing with you. Greetings from the Steele County Historical Society. We invite you to visit us and enjoy your county's history at the History Center and Village of Yesteryear. For current exhibits and events, check our website, www.steelhistorymuseum.org. Howdy, partner. Come join in the fun at the 29th Annual Night of Nights Auction, Saturday, April 18th at St. Mary's School in Owatonna. Doors open at 4 p.m. Admission is only $10. There's new and exciting items to bid on at both the live and silent auctions. And don't forget to get your car and cash raffle tickets now on sale for a chance to win $10,000 cash or a new Ford Focus. There's great food and a cash bar available. You don't want to miss this great event. So get your cowboy on. And round up your posse. Yeehaw! Welcome back and thanks again for joining us on this Monday, April 6th. As I mentioned, we are going to be talking Young Life Cake Auction. And for that, we have Chuck Jamison, Area Director of Young Life. How are you, Chuck? Good, Deb. Good to see you. So nice to see you again. And Julie Rethmeyer. Julie, welcome. Thank Julie you. is on the auction committee. So lots of work to be done and lots of things to talk about today. So we're not going to pussyfoot around. We're going to dig right in because, yeah. first of all, we want to remind our viewers and let those who may not know um, what Young Life is all about. Yeah, Young Life is a world-class organization for adolescents whose purpose is to introduce adolescents to the person of Jesus Christ and help them grow in their faith. We really feel like the spiritual piece of life is not just an add-on, but really the key ingredient that makes sense out of all of life. So mm -hmm. um, we do that primarily through just building honest friendships with kids and winning the right to be heard about faith and life and, and uh, helping them to just consider um, who Christ is and make up their own mind about him. So the original program was pretty much high school focused, yep. but you've really branched out from there. Yep, we have. Um, back in the 80s, we realized kids were getting older, younger, <laughs> you know, and... Okay, wait, I have to think about that, but uh, I understand, early, yes, I do. <laughs> encountering things that we never encountered until exactly. college or beyond, and so we started Wildlife, which is junior high, young life. Um, we have a one-to-one -one mentoring program called Walk With Me for kids that want to grow deeper in their faith, and we also have started Real Life for kids that maybe wouldn't necessarily um, come to traditional young life is uh, a lot of it some kids from um, the alternative learning center from the okay. actions program maybe from the academy some kids that uh, maybe have been dealt a little tougher tougher hand in okay. life in okay. some cases um, and some teen moms and some of that stuff anyway it's called real life and Rod okay. Nakagaki's on our staff and he heads that up with a great team of leaders and uh, sit down meal and 
discussion. Kind of a place for kids that. that may not feel otherwise as comfortable in yeah. the traditional <clears throat> um, young life setting to really, really it's get kids their arms that are, are really it. involved in a lot of activities and mm -hmm. extracurriculars at school. So I mean, if you don't catch them during school, yep. they're out of there. And so, so he spends time tutoring, Wonderful. helping to serve lunch, those kinds of things, building friendships with those kids. How often are the meetings? They're um, every other week. Okay, every mm -hmm. other week for all of the groups. Well, no, Young Life no. meets every week. Okay. Yeah, Wildlife is every other week and Real Life is every other week. Okay, so. all right, just so people know. And yeah. if you have any questions mm -hmm. about it for someone, that, for yourself or someone that you know, by all means, call the call the office and, and find out more about how you yep. can get involved. Yep. What a great we would program. Love, we'd love to tell you more. And you have a lot of fun. I mean, that's the whole thing, right? It's yeah. kids. So you can't just say, okay, we're going to come and, you know, right. I mean, we're going to talk about spiritual things. I mean, yeah. it has to be a lot it's of It's combining faith and fun exactly. for kids. Yeah. So, so I know is, the kids have a, a whole bunch of fun with all that. And trips and yep. things like that are yep. also... The camping part of Young Life is huge. Um, Every year we do a, uh, an outreach week, um, and we have 55 um, high school, 75 junior high school going to Castaway and to Crooked mm -hmm. Creek Ranch, mm -hmm. um, which you know about, yep. and, and combining adventure and discovery in a new setting where kids have a, the clearest look at the Christian faith that they'll probably ever have in their life mm -hmm. and, uh, and a chance to consider that on their own terms and the most fun that they've ever had. I don't think there's a kid mm -hmm. that has come back in the 34 years that I've been doing this that has said this wasn't the, the best week of my life. Yeah. And so, yeah, the camping stuff is Kind of coming out of our elements is always good. And, yeah. and taking a look at those same things that we might talk about just in our normal setting, but bringing it out in those settings where you're really communing with nature as well and yep. uh, maybe <laughs> learning some really new things about yourself that you well, didn't you know, think you may have heard this stuff do. from your family or from yep. another kind of heard it, you know, and it didn't break through and, and so sometimes just the new setting really yeah. helps and we do the wilderness trip for kids yeah. that have uh, been to camp and want to have a, another experience mm -hmm. and that is that's more of a roughing it one you mm -hmm. know about that one as well yeah. but um, but that's an awesome trip yeah. and um, yeah. I've never and, heard a bad thing I mean yeah. I seriously and, and you're in your right and you hear it very personally I don't <clears> think there's a, a young person that comes back that says it hasn't given them something valuable yeah. something to carry with them and and uh, and be a part of their life so that, that's yeah. amazing. Jim Rayburn that started Young Life um, once said, every kid has a right to know who Jesus is. They have a right to know what he's done for them. They have a right to know how they relate to that. And they have a right to make up their own mind about him. And that's really what gets us out of bed in the morning. And yeah. that's what, um, what this auction is all about, really yeah, giving kids that chance. And we do want to, and we want to get into the auction because there is always so much to talk about. It is in its 37th year, which is amazing. Yes. Um, cake auction is not even the way to describe it anymore, but that is that is how it started, isn't it? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> it is a cake auction. There's three elements. There are sale cakes that are sold outright for $40. Yep. There are silent auction baskets that you okay. bid on. And then there are 100 live auction cakes um, that have specials that go with them. And, of course, Bill Kotke back in the day and Faye were part, and Kotke Jewelers were part of helping a specials mm -hmm. be provided with each cake. They started putting some surprise cupcakes together with something baked inside, a little <laughs> diamond rings. Or, and everybody else started saying, you know, I want my cake to go for more money. Yeah. I'm going to put something with it. I want to get creative. And it just grew until today. It's just it's amazing. Phenomenal. The cakes are amazing, works of art. And the things that go with the cakes are just off the charts. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about that because we actually have some show and tell. So, Julie, let's talk about when the auction is. Yeah, it's Saturday, April 18th okay. from 11 until 4 at the Oatana High School All right. and in the gymnasium there. This is a great family event. Bring your kids. Bring anybody you want with you. I mean, it is amazing to see the works of art that Chuck was talking about. And there's something for everyone. Um, there's, you know, concert tickets. There's sporting events. There's big things that you might want to get together as a group, a getaways if you're looking for a family vacation, awesome opportunity. But there's a lot of silent auction baskets that are perfect. You know, they could be things from cooking to, you know, baby items. I mean, there's just something for everyone. So we really encourage everyone just to come out. It's a great way to um, spend a few hours, spend 10 minutes. You can spend as long or as little as you'd like. And there's um, seating and concessions and a kid's corner right. to help you with can the spend little your ones. day. Yeah. You're still doing bidding over the phone, too. So there's, for those that may be in a work or other situation and they say, hey, I still want to be a part of the auction, they have a way to do that. Right. So, yeah, you can, if you're, we've had people be out of town and they're yeah. watching on TV or listening <laughs> on the radio and they're calling in, and that's always fun. We yeah. have people mm -hmm. manning the phones and they're calling in and we get bidding wars going with people that are here and people on the phone. 
um, so people can you can still be a part of it if you're not even in town. So exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Should we talk a little bit about what's in front of us here? Are these some some special things that we wanted to mention? Yeah, we've got a 47-inch um, smart TV. Um, there's a Bose um, sound system, okay. a Bluetooth sound system. There's an Xbox One, and this is just a small sampling. Um, you know, some of the other items that have been rolling in are experiences uh, for families yeah. or individuals. There are concert tickets for Kenny Chesney and Jason Aldean. There's concert tickets also for Florida Georgia Line and um, Luke Bryan. There are uh, tickets also for Imagine Dragon, uh, Mary Poppins at the Chan Asin Theater, Copper Mountain, Colorado for a week. Um, here's a brand new thing that we've never had before, and that is an experience sky high flyboarding on Lake Minnetonka for six is. people. <laughs> well, I'm kind of scared. You get, into, you get into these boots, and there's a hose that's attached, and it's almost space age where it shoots you, you go up into the air and you're in these boots. And I mean, the guys that are good at it are doing like flips and they're diving oh into the water gosh. and coming back out and it's unbelievable. So Okay, I won't be bending on that. But there would be a number of people <laughs> that I know that would, yes. Yeah, and, no. and think that was the coolest thing on earth. That is really neat. Yeah. It's adventure some experience. You know, we really have to credit not only the people who come and bid, but those who I donate was all these I just going to say that we things. wanted to take just a minute just to thank our very, very generous donors. Mm -hmm. I'm one of 16 uh, on our adult um, committee. I'm not on the auction committee, but we all work together um, to get these donations. And our community is so supportive of Young Life. It's such an easy ask mm -hmm. um, to say, would you like to support us? And it's just awesome to see um, that year after year that they, they see the mission and the value that we provide in the community, and they're yeah. willing to donate. So yeah. a huge thank you to everyone who has participated. It's become a habit, I think, and for, for many and people, individuals habit. and businesses like something that they just plan on doing every year. And what could be better than that? There are some games that you play that we yeah. want to talk about. Yeah, we There's break some... up the auction at a yeah. couple points. At 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock, we play Too High, Too Low, which is kind of like The Price is Right. Um, and for uh, on, $10, you get a strand of beads, and you're able to uh, to uh, get in there. And you're, this year, you'll be playing the first game at 1 o'clock. We'll be playing for an iPad Mini. Okay. And uh, you just Ooh, say, nice. if you think that that item up for bid is too high or too low, and if you're right, you stay in until you win. And uh, the other item at 3 o'clock is a GoPro camera. All so right. super oh, fun. Nice stuff. We hope people will be there in person uh, yep. you know, to bid. But like Julie said, they can bid on the phone. Um, it's The auction is simulcast over uh, KRFO AM 1390 and Channel 181. OK, same place where you find Owatonna today. Mm -hmm. We want to mention one thing before we wrap up, and that is the ability to get together with others to bid on some of these things that are really fun group things or maybe a, a special item. Yeah, a number of groups have done this where they pool their money, they come down and bid, and then whatever they buy that day, they come back, they celebrate with the cake, mm -hmm. and then they have drawings to see who gets the special that goes with the cake. So. Oh, so much to talk about. Seriously, we could sit here for a half an hour and just go over and over <laughs> all the wonderful things. If you're hungry things. for cake, <laughs> because you yes. just get a lot of it. Still the cakes that you can buy right straight out, yes. too? Yep. Outright. Oh, right. $40 okay. sale cakes. And the coolest cake on the day, um, people vote, and there's a People's Choice Award. They are works of art. So They're just amazing. So. Well, look for the big, bright posters. Hold that one up just briefly. Mm -hmm. They're bright. You can't miss them all over town. Come to the Young Life Cake Auction Saturday, April 18th, starting at yes. 11, going till 4, Owatonna High School Gym. Um, you'll see these two there and many, many others and a great chance to have a lot of fun and support our, our local young life. So yep. thanks, Chuck. Thanks, thanks Julie, Jeff. for joining us. We hope for a very successful event. See you there. Again. You <laughs> we'll take a break and we'll be right back. Come out to Spare Time Entertainment and Bowl for Kids Sake to benefit Big Brothers Big Sisters of Southern Minnesota. Start today by forming a team, collecting pledges and bowling for the kids in your community. Call 451-5922 for more information or go directly to our website to set up your online fundraising page. Help change the lives of local children. Raise some money and join us for a great time at Bowl for Kids Sake. See you there. Recreational fires are allowed within the Oatana city limits. They must be contained within a fire pit or a device designed for such use and can be three feet in diameter and no more than three feet high. They must be 25 feet from a building or combustibles. 
only untreated or unpainted woods must be used. Fires must be attended by a person at all times that are capable of extinguishing the fire. This has been a safe tip from the Oatana Fire Department. Hi, I'm Glenn Mager. And I'm Tim Thomas of the Brick Mager Funeral Home. And we're proud to serve the Medford and Oatana areas with cremation and traditional funeral services. And we're proud to be a part of the Oatana Today Show. Hi, this is Barry Gillespie, president of ERA Gillespie Real Estate, where our pledge is to save you money, save you time, and simplify your life. And we're proud supporters of the Oatana Today Show. Hello, I'm David Einhouse with the Oatana Foundation. Thank you to all of our donors who have helped make Oatana a better place to live. Will you join us today with a financial gift? Oatana Foundation is a proud sponsor of the Oatana Today Show. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us here on the Owatonna Today Show, Monday, April 6th. And as I mentioned, we're talking Camp Pillsbury for the second part of our program. Scott Roberts joins us. Scott, official title, which we had a little giggle about before he started, but it's cool. I like it. I He's like it. He's headmaster of Camp Pillsbury, and it's, uh, you know, of course you get the relation to Hogwarts and Harry Potter, but you know yes. what? It's a neat title. Not everyone can have that on their business card. No, exactly. Right? And yeah. It's a... It's a Kind of a title that I'm proud to have in the fact that uh, I was never g given clear indication of what I do. <laughs> so that means I can help out in any way possible and anything I can do to make things uh, easier on our, our uh, counselors and, and for the campers and for okay. our students. That's my job. Job description so of the, headmaster and all other duties as required, right? Yep, it's yeah. sort of a blank line underneath. <laughs> okay. And David Islas yes. uh, joins us. He is a counselor at the camp, and we're going to be talking a little bit more about all this fun stuff we have in front of us um, a little bit later on. So we're going to start with you, though, Scott, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk a little bit about a couple of conferences um, that you have coming up. Uh, yes, uh, we're doing our second annual uh, Personal and Professional Women's Growth Conference. Okay. Uh, this is uh, after last year's uh, very well uh, um, enrolled class that we had that uh, uh, Vonda White, the uh, owner, decided to go on for another year because okay. it was got so much popularity and they wanted to bring it back. It also got uh, so much uh, recognition that it's also now being um, asked for by St. Thomas. So it's actually two days. It'll be in Owatonna really? and then it'll be the following next day uh, on Saturday in Owatonna and then it'll be up Sunday. It'll be up at St. Thomas. So same presenters, same program. Same really presenters, going same. So if perchance somebody can't make it to this one but can go up to St. Thomas, they could do that as they well. They can do that or they can do both if uh, you didn't get enough because there's so much information being given out yeah. if you don't make the first one if you want to make the second uh, you're totally welcome to do that okay. and that conference is going to start on uh, Thursday April 23rd okay. uh, at Pillsbury College and, excuse me uh, April 24th Friday okay. at St. Thomas uh, starts at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning the speakers that, that she's lined up uh, Vonda has is just almost uh, uh, covering every range of women in business. Okay. Uh, we have uh, from Daisy Cakes, um, uh, Kim Nelson, who was basically telling her story about how she wanted to sell uh, her product line and got out there and then was on the Shark Tank program. Oh, and okay. so she has gotten recognition from that. Okay. Uh, we also have another speaker that's talking about the Oprah effect, where she was working with uh, Toffee uh -huh. and got on the Oprah Winfrey top 10 list of, okay. and so that took off for her. So of again, these, these professionals have so many good things to offer women of, of every part of their uh, career and also their life. They have personal stories, they have a relationship uh, with other women and other companies, how they grew from small to large. Uh, and this back and forth is I think like a mentoring for people mm -hmm. and it gives uh, young women a chance early in their career to get some of this information out. Yeah. Um, everybody likes the idea of going to a, a webcast or something online, but this is the personal effect. You have a, a chance to do some one-on-one -on -one afterwards. Yeah. There's a time for networking. Uh, one on time, uh, what a time for a woman to just have a chance to see something that she can actually kind of uh, mold her career towards and say, listen, I have something now in mind. Okay. And uh, that's something that I know is, uh, last year was really popular. This year we're expecting the same turnout, oh, if not better. Yeah. Uh, and it'll be up at Camp Pillsbury, which is- And it's a full day, correct? It is a it's full your, day. It's it, your full day. You need to dedicate that because it's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. And it, I mean, it, when it closes, it does start up again with a dinner and that's just basically probably when everybody starts talking the most okay. is when they get that comfort level down yep. where everybody can just be themselves. 
Um, and then after that, uh, there's something new that uh, Vonda decided to add to the list of things up at Pillsbury that are exciting, is the Business Executive Boot Camp. Okay. And that's going to take place <laughs> May 14th to 16th. Uh, and that is, again, another lineup of professional speakers that have such a caliber of uh, experience behind them. It's yep. just something for uh, the professional, the novelists of any type. Uh, this is a, a, a league of speakers that cover everything from marketing to management to structure to uh, volunteerism. Uh, wow. I mean, it's just, an, uh, again, a, a league of people that to get to come to southern Minnesota is uh, really an opportunity for anybody around here to take advantage. And really designed at that higher level executive. It's, it's really looking at it from that, that higher level leadership. Exactly. And, and that's what she, and that's what Vonda brings to the community uh, besides what we already have here, which is well-established leadership and management. She comes with that entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And so she brings these people in here to uh, help, again, uh, Southern Minnesota just gain recognized, uh, um, it's recognized a place in Minnesota as being uh, the same line of right below the cities. Mm -hmm. You have Rochester, Mankato, Owatonna, yep. Northfield. I mean, it is just a, a wealth of, of leadership. Yeah, and so this camp is another way for people to build on top of what they already have. Okay. And that'll be May 14th. Yes. So we've got the April event for women, and we've got the executive boot camp in May. Correct. No. Did I do that right? I hope April, I did it right. May. Did I say that right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Are we ready to move on to David, or is there anything else, Scott, that you want to mention? No. Let's uh, let's get on over to David. Because we've got props, and we want to talk <laughs> about that. So let's talk a little bit about Camp Pillsbury, and this is the kind of things that we're doing in the summertime, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us a little bit about what's all going on here. Actually, uh, these programs, we, we offer them throughout the year. So okay. those that attend camp, or whether you're in our after-school program, uh, during the school year, you're going to have an opportunity to perhaps work on some Lego Mindstorms. This oh, is uh, wow. two projects that our boarder, uh, Justin, has been working on. Uh, he hasn't quite gone to the programming stage. We had a little bit of homework to do last okay, night. Okay, okay. Uh, but this is his robot combined with the tank, All and right. then this uh, helicopter that will spin eventually. That is uh, phenomenal. And using these uh, components, there are a variety of sensors, uh, ultrasonic sensor, touch sensor, color sensor. Okay. And you can build with the three sets that we currently have um, pretty large um, contraptions, projects, okay. uh, and program them as you like to. What a way um, to stretch <laughs> young people's minds and talents, huh? Absolutely, yeah. They allow for a lot of creativity just based on the Lego system, yeah. the Lego Technic system. Okay. We've uh, got some little people in clay and some <laughs> things going on here too. We do. This is just a selection of some of the projects that we uh, made over the summer. Okay. This is a quick drying clay and then we also have our uh, ceramics okay. um, that we can put in the kiln and fire and glaze. Okay. Um, Very creative. Look at those little people. And right. We even get into more uh, detailed pieces right here. Okay. Where, Very uh, artistic. Absolutely. And these were, uh, you know, staff and campers. Uh, these are projects that, you know, anyone can make, uh, even those that are staying for just one, two-week session. Okay, okay. Um, you know, in addition to a little bit of uh, wire right here. Okay, and tell finally, us about these guys here. These. Looks like a little more action may be involved with Absolutely. this. Absolutely. <laughs> if you don't feel like sitting down and kind of working on those smaller projects, this is for our LARPing program. Okay. Uh, where you can get up and pretty much you're going to wallop someone with a stick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, um, and don't we all look forward to that in our in day? In controlled circumstances <laughs> control. under supervision. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> uh, and it's all very structured. It's all very safe. Um, but what it is, it's live action role playing okay. in which um, if you'd like to, you can assume a character. Okay. Uh, and using uh, various methods, you can go ahead um, and enact certain um, scenarios. All right. Uh, and then if you decide to take it as a minor, which is our more recreational program, mm -hmm. uh, you can just go in and practice your sword skills, practice your um, your combat skills. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so you mentioned as we were talking about this, lengths of programs. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about what is all available um, Absolutely. In, in the summer? And then we're going to bounce back to the after school because we want to make sure our viewers know about that as well. So we have a pretty extensive program during the summer. We have a total of two of five two-week sessions. Okay. So you could theoretically be a Camp Pillsbury for up to 10 weeks during the all summer. Right. Woo. Uh, you know, and then if you're only looking for a couple hours during the day, we have half hour day camp. We have half day camps okay. and full day camps. If you uh, perhaps live nearby in Mankato, Rochester, uh, you might be looking at our Monday through Friday where you stay overnight each of those days, go okay. home for the weekend. Okay. Uh, or if you'd like to go um, the full tilt, we have our overnight camps, which is for two weeks. And then on our last Saturday, we have performance day where parents get to come and enjoy, uh, whether it's a circus performance on the flying trapeze or a theater performance or musical theater. Okay. Um, See what those kids have been up to. Absolutely. <laughs> So a lot of this is, it, it looks like there's a lot of 
brain activity, there's small motor skills, there's large motor skills. Is that kind of encompassed in every camp scenario? Or are some of them more focused to a certain thing? Well, that's uh, one of the advantages that we have is instead of having to go just to a football camp or just to an arts and crafts camp, we have a wide variety of programs where uh, campers get to make their own schedule. Okay. So you could theor theoretically be doing six different things a okay. day okay. Uh, and then be able to change three of those every single day. So they're choosing their courses basically. Yep. Absolutely. That, uh, uh, of their interests or things that they Whatever. might not otherwise be able to try. After school, let's talk a little bit about that because many people may not know about that yet. Absolutely. So our uh, after school program, uh, we have um, some of the similar programs that you would see during the uh, during the summer, okay. uh, including, uh, you know, a little bit of tutoring in there. Uh, if you need a little bit of uh, assistance with your homework or, you know, need someone to sit down okay. and read with you. Um, and then we can move on to the fun stuff. Okay. Uh, again, having our, our wide variety of programs, some scheduled and then having some free time as well to pick and choose as you like. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So we, many things going on. Yeah. We also set up those programs so it's also paid on a daily basis. Okay. Uh, so we understand that parents may want to do this three times a week four times a week, five times a week, could be scheduled how they want to, but okay. they're only paying for the times that they actually uh, arrive at our after-day program. So Sounds so customized to whatever somebody needs, and I, what a great thing for us to have here in Owatonna. Again, trying to just do what we can with the facility uh, being up there and uh, okay. just helping out. Yep, and you've got your contact information on there. There's a website to visit, phone number, contact the headmaster, talk to a counselor if you need to. Thank you, David, and thank you, Scott, for joining us. We hope for a very successful couple of events and a successful end of the year and into the summer for you as well. Thank you. Thank you for Thanks. being with us. We'll take a break and we'll be right back to wrap up for today. Amy Swain Hearing Centers is a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. I'm Dr. Amy Swain and I want everyone to hear better. Hello, I'm Sean McNulty. And I'm Deb Gillard with Brookdale Senior Living, Sterling House and Clarebridge of Owatonna. And we are a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. Welcome back. Time to wrap up the program on this Monday, April 6th. We do want to remind you, if you hadn't already heard, that the Brook Tree Golf Course opened last Thursday, April 2nd. Woo! The weather's been nice enough. The clubhouse is open at 8 for breakfast, lunch, dinner, memberships, and tea times. Um, check out the new Brook Tree. Many new improvements have been made to the clubhouse and course. The hours of operation for April are 8 to 8, seven days a week. And for more information, you can always call them at 444 2467. Amy Swain Hearing Centers announces an open house with special pricing on hearing aids. That will be next week, April 13th through the 17th. Free hearing aid consultation. Please call show supporter Amy Swain um, to find out more about that and how, can you how you might be able to take part in that. A new community resource provides an emergency of supply of diapers for children, newborn through age three. They're now available for residents living in Steele County. It includes uh, the Salvation Army and local Steele County Food Shelf as distributors. Um, their mission is to ensure families who are living in poverty or potentially experiencing a crisis to have access to those all important diapers and what a great service for us to have. Um, do want to remind you there are a couple of caregiver support groups for uh, those caring for people with Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, an evening support group is just starting tomorrow evening, April 7th uh, at six o'clock at the Owatonna Public Library and I am actually the one to contact on that. So if you would like more information, please give me a call or email me at dgillard.brookdale.com. Time to wrap it up for today. Owatonna Airport 20-year plan is what we'll be talking about on Wednesday as well as the Exchange Center for Family Unity and a couple of fundraisers that they have. We'll see you then. Have a great day.